Sergio, but uh, for the last six months, not today. Good evening, Pep. Um, another clean sheet that matches a club record, but were you surprised by the lack of intensity and the pace of that game? It didn't seem like a typical Manchester derby. I don't know what the, the feeling from home, but here, yeah, we know we can uh, go through more uh, intensity, but we know when you are not settled down properly, when you attack, they punish you in the country time, so they are so fast. It's the quality for Man United, so. And uh, yeah, we will have a lot to have more chances, but when you review the chance we had with Gabriel, with Wright, especially when we had Maret in the first half, one against one of the keepers, so. They they had uh, they had uh, one corner in the first half and the last minute one from Fernandez so that we have to build from here and uh, you know that we play with the spectators and everything looks like everything uh, like of intensity but they have a touchline in the sideline and uh, I see the players how incredible run but is that a point that you're then happy with or are you frustrated? It's a good point. It's a point I would love to, to win, but uh, it's okay. So it's all tough for We cannot forget it. Uh, it's all tough for It's a tough, tough opening. And uh, his physicality is impressed. They are so fast up front. Uh, yeah, it's Man United. So we cannot expect in general. We've had more chances uh, in most of the parts of the game. Uh, yeah, we were, we were good. Really good. We lack a little bit the chances to score, but we were good. James, Max of Mike, BBC Manchester. Uh, hi, Pep. Uh, did the game miss a crowd today, do you think? We miss the crowd every weekend, every game, not today. But do you think it could have helped with the perhaps the intensity or, or, or getting that spark that really needed to light the derby? It's difficult to attack the team, so football is not easy. So uh, it was a good game. It was a good game for our side. I'm talking on behalf of my players and I'm so satisfied with the hard time. Uh, did, did you miss Sergio Aguero today? Obviously not in the team. We know the reasons for that, but, but was he a, a miss up front? Yeah, we missed Sergio, but uh, for the last six months, not today. So we was injured a lot of time. That is the reason why we missed him. Thank you, Pat. Can I ask you guys to raise your hands if you have questions? We'll go to Dan King. Hi, Dan. Hi, Pep. Um, I know what you're saying about Sergio, but, but is it a concern that um, you're still struggling to score goals when he doesn't play? One step at a time. He still is not fit to play a lot of minutes, and there are other players that are here working hard, and that's why one step at a time. So there is no person that I'm looking for or expecting to come back like me. But even today was a, a problem in his stomach. It was a little bit influence in his stomach. He couldn't make a training session. He's at home, and I don't know when he's coming back. So, so we, we miss him. Of course, we miss Sergio. Sergio is the best striker had uh, Manchester City for history. He's incredible top scorer, but was more than four months, five months injured. So, and you, we survived this time without him. And the next short time, we are going without him. And I'm pretty sure when he's coming back and take weeks training sessions. He would be he would be ready for them back. Is that all your team is missing at the moment? Just that cutting edge in front of goal? Uh, yeah, from the beginning of the season. But uh, we are there. So one game left and we're going to move forward next. So you need to be patient this season. Thank you. Uh, the live section of the press conference before the embargo. Okay. James, is it, is it for the live section yet? Yeah? Okay, go for it. James. Yeah, sorry, it's the live for the live section, so I um Pep, Pep, do you do you feel your do you feel your your you've been a more conservative manager this season than than the than what we've seen from previous years at City? More pra, pra, more pragmatic. I'm the manager more pragmatic in um, my 12 years. I won a lot. We won a lot. So more pragmatic than this is impossible. So, no, I know my team. I know how we are. I know the physical or the, the performance of the players. And uh, yeah, it's solid. It starts from this. So, 
and uh, who who did more to win was tight game, but in considering chances, we 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 yeah, but sometimes they're an opponent, an opponent defenses of physicality are strong. We want you mistake, and after that, they punish you in the contra attack. So they will create the chances, more clear chances than Riyadh they didn't have, more clear chances than Gabriel they didn't have. Uh, yeah, we're there. Of course, we could create more, but sometimes we struggle because there are eight players there. So physicality is not easy to find. Them. So, and now we are struggling all the season sometimes with the chances that we we'll have to score a goal. Yeah. It happened in Oporto, it happened in Portugal, it happened in many games, but at the end, we have to look for the balance when you see the team, how this feel, because the feeling always as a manager is how is in the right moment today, how is the team? And uh, and the team in many things is not really good, and hopefully this point will be good if we make a good result for the next month. That's something next. Sam? Hi, Pep. Um... I asked about substitutes after the, the Liverpool game. I don't intend any disrespect when I ask again, but one, one substitute today, um, 20 or so minutes to go. Um, what, what was your, your thinking there, looking at some of the people on the bench and thinking, no, I'm going to keep things as it is? What, what was the thinking? I saw the team, the players was there, we were sharp, with Kevin, with Gabi, we were watching the last minutes, had the chances in the side. At least have to maintain it on the move to It's my decision. The rules are the rules, and after I use the rules, it depends on my convenience. My convenience. And just just um, while I've got the opportunity to ask as well, was it different last week against Fulham when there was no substitute at all? Was that a way just to keep the players fresh and then you know play them against Marseille? Was that different last week? Was that a diff- more about fitness? It's my decision. We said to put an play and maybe next game we're going to play three. And the champions will maybe five and maybe five. I don't know. It's my decision to make what I see. I have the rule and I use the rules like I want. It's not because I have three substitutions. I have to use the three. Would be better to have five. It would be better to have 80 or 20 players in the bench. But after that, the manager decides when I use it. Thanks, Pat. Okay, we go to John Murray next. John? Pep, how much of an achievement is it to go six matches without conceding a goal? How much how much work has gone into that? Yeah, it's the only way that to build something from here. Yeah. Like we struggle to score goals, so we have to be solid in terms of control the game and not consider contract. And I'm so proud. So this is a team like they kill you. When you let them run, when you are not attacking in the proper way, they kill you. And uh and uh, we did it perfectly, we didn't want maybe one or two. Look at offside penalty, but we disallowed the penalty for offside. It happened quite often. It happened like, like season, they, they, they hit you because they are so strong, the defenders are so strong, so fast. In the set pieces, they are stronger than any other team in the Premier League. And when they run with Greenwood or Rashford or Martial, with the quality with uh, Fernandez, yeah, they are there. So, and coming here in Old Trafford, and play the game in the play, take this point. This is quite good. I know the expectation for our teams always, uh, for our team, Manchester City is always yeah, so high. And uh, we accept this, but there's always 